Insider threat is a security vulnerability to network assets and most importantly business data coming from insiders. Insiders are company employees, contractors or partners. The data breaches caused by employees are in large part unintentional, like losing a company laptop or sending a business document to a wrong address. Sometimes data breaches are caused by intentionally malicious employees who are, for instance, notified of losing a job or think they are underpaid. Data breaches caused by outsiders that are authorized to access networks are more intentional than accidental. The most famous case is Edward Snowden's, who worked for the NSA as an outside contractor and took their data. Unintentional data breaches are usually caught by DLP solutions. Intentional insider attacks are more sophisticated and harder to detect. For that, we need other types of solutions besides DLP. One is direct user activity monitoring. Another one is user and entity behavioral analytics, or UEBA. User monitoring tools monitor single sessions, but a sophisticated attacker might perform a malicious activity in such a way that it is not directly visible in a single session to, in a single system. He might do a little bit on one server, a little bit on another. Then he would lay low and do some changes on the database later on in a couple of days. And in a week, he would put his findings in a file and send it via email out of the network. Such activities are impossible to catch through session monitoring tools. So UEBA tools were developed. They gather and correlate input from lots of different sources, system and application logs, security solutions, CM, user directories, orchestration tools, and even workstations. Sophisticated algorithms and machine learning are used to define normal activities of users and entities, a kind of very advanced baselining. Then they can detect and alert on anomalies or security analytics can work interactively to search for something strange. What is an anomaly? Let's say that a server has 100 megabytes of daily traffic with the internet and there is a business reason for that. Then one day there are five communication sessions with, with 100 megabytes each. A UEBA tool could detect that. That is an entity anomaly. Another anomaly is a user who connects daily to his workstation and the web server because he is a company blogger. But then one day suddenly he accesses a database server and on the next day he sends out a large zip file. That is strange and can be detected with UEBA tools. If you would like to find out more about UEBA or would like to integrate a UEBA solution from our vendors McAfee and Forcepoint, head on over to our website at www.real-sec.com or contact us at info at real-sec.com. Thanks for watching.